Welcome back developers. Today we're going to be talking about getting started with Laravel in a Mac. Uh, it'll be short and quick. Follow along. The first thing we have to do is get a PHP and uh, Linux environment. So what we, what we will be using is MAMP. Uh, MAMP is uh, free, free software that we can download and it, it sets up a local environment. There's other ways to get uh, Laravel installed, but uh, this will be the way the way we will do it. So after you install it, we just need to start the instance. And there's a document root where you can install all your files, and this is kind of like how it looks after it's installed. After that, uh, we need to install composer and with the composer command we'll be able to launch a new project with this command so there's this tutorial that i that i've used in the past of how to install composer uh, so what we'll do is we'll run this curl command on the terminal Okay, then we're gonna move the composer into our local bin file. So mine is installed on the users folder. So we're gonna go users. It's gonna ask for your password. Once it's moved, we're gonna change the permission on that folder so we don't have to run it with uh, the root. So now we need to run a bash file so we can do an alias. So what an alias is whenever we run composer, it'll make sure to run uh, uh, this, this, uh, this command, right? So what we'll do is we'll go into bash. I already have it in, in here. So all you have to do is you have to put yours in there. Uh, we do control X to exit, then we'll run the bash profile. And then we'll check our version and we have composer version 2.0. So we're all set up to go. Uh, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to navigate into, uh, I'm going to navigate into that local host folder in MAMP, which is, uh, what is it? Applications, MAMP, HC Docs. So we're going to go applications, MAMP, HT Docs. All right. So what we'll do is. We're gonna run run this command that says uh, composer create project, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna put blog. I'm gonna change the name to get started. This will load the dep dep dependencies we need, and. Uh, Pretty much in quick, simple steps, you'll be set up on Laravel. And if we navigate to our local host, we'll see the folder get started. And this is the whole Laravel infrastructure. If you want to run the command for PHP artisan serve, this will create an instance for us on uh, what we have to do first, we were on the HC docs folder. We have to CD into that folder that we created, which is uh, get started. So we CD get started. Inside get started, you'll see something that says artisan. Uh, this is a PHP file that runs a lot of commands. So if we go to PHP artisan serve, this will launch a virtual server for us. 
So if you see, it's this one. And the same thing we see on the public, uh, the same thing we see on the public, we'll see it on that new local server instance. And there you go. Pretty simple and quick. If you want to watch any of our other videos or stay tuned to our, uh, to our blog and uh, tools and tips, just follow us and hit subscribe. Uh, we appreciate anything and thank you for watching.